Hey guys, it's Rachel here from Deshelly Labs and today I'm going to show you how to swap out your op amps on your J2 DAX. So in wood, I have the J2 93 socketed version and in aluminum, I have the J2 99 version. And for op amps, I have a good amount here. So I have the Sparkos 3602s, I have the Burson V7 Vivids and the Burson V7 Classics, as well as OPA 1656 and Burson V5s. All right, so what you're gonna need to swap out your op amps of your J2 DAC is if you have wood, you're going to need your two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. If you have aluminum, you're going to need a two millimeter Allen wrench, as well as, of course, your op amps of choice. And if you are using 1656s, you're going to need a little rack. Okay, so to start, we're going to start with wood. So you're going to grab your two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. And the only thing you're going to have to take out is actually these four back screws. You don't even have to take out the ones in the middle. So you're just going to take these out. Now that those are out, all you're going to do is you're just going to push the board out just like that and remove it. You don't even have to take off the glass completely. All right, so now we're gonna do the aluminum and you're gonna use the two millimeter Allen wrench and you're just gonna take out these four, just like the wood, you can leave the five in the middle. So let's do that. All right, so same thing with the wood, you're just gonna push it out. And I do wanna mention, you don't wanna push on these buttons push from here or just pull from the back because these can get damaged. Okay, so when looking at your op amps, you're gonna see what I call arches, but what they are are your little indicators of how you're gonna match them up on the board. So for the Burson V7 Classics and the Burson V7 Vivids, they're up here. So as you can see on the bottom, they're flat. So the arches are gonna be right up there. And then for the V5s, you can see the arch pretty clearly on that, as well as the Sparkos 3602 and the OPA 1656. Those are where the arches are gonna be. And that is the indication of how it goes on the board. So right now we're looking at the 4499 DAC. And the arches are gonna be here, here, and here. That is where the arches align for the op amps to be plugged in on the board. So you wanna match the arches with the arches. Now in front of me, I have a 93 socketed and all of the arches are actually gonna to be towards the outside of the board, which is there, there, and there. So do you see those arches? Those are the indicators on this board of where the op amps are going to align to be inserted. Since I have the 93 in front of me, we're just going to start with that. So we're going to go in with a 1656. We're going to go with the Sparkos 3602 and the Burson V5s. And I'm going to show you exactly how to line them up and put them in. So the Sparkos and the Bursons are actually relatively easy to put in. The OPAs can give you a little bit of a hard time sometimes. So that is what you may need a rag for. Um, so, and it's kind of like, look at the draw. So we'll start with the V5. So we see right there, there's the arch and we're going to match it up with the arch over here. Again, obviously you wouldn't use different op amps in, um, all three of them, but for the video, so you guys can see how it works, that is what we're going to do. So you insert it, you want to make sure all eight legs are lined up, four on each side, and you literally just give it a little push and that is all. That's all you have to do. So then again, for the Sparkos 3602, line up all eight legs, four on each side. Soon it's lined up, you just give it a little push. It doesn't take much. Now the OPA 1656s, these ones cause a little more of issues when it comes to inserting them. Sometimes they can be a little bit harder, but you're gonna find that arch, turn it, line it up, and if it doesn't go in with like basic force like that, like, like so, you're just gonna take a little rag. I recommend folding it two to three times so you don't hurt yourself. You're gonna find the center. And this is just particularly how I do it. And you just pop it right in and boom. Now you have your op amps in your 93 socketed version. All right, so now working with the 99, 
and the Burson V7s. These are a little bit more hard to find the indicators on. So if you can see, the arch is gonna be here. So that's what you're looking for. So on this side, it's completely flat. This side does have that little, little arch. So on your board, you're gonna find an arch. So we'll start over here. So then line up the arch with the arch and line up all eight pins and just push it in. That's it. So find your little arch right there, right there, and line it up with the arch on the board and all eight pins are even and you're just gonna pop it right in. And then we're gonna go in with another 1656 so I can show you guys, it can be some, sometimes a little difficult. So you wanna find your arch, line it up with the arch on the board, all eight lined up. It's not going in with basic force. So you're gonna take your rag, find the middle of the op amp and just push it in. And that is how you swap out your op amps on your 99. And next I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the op amps because that can be difficult as well. Okay, so removing op amps, you have to be extremely careful because you do not wanna damage the pins because it will damage the op amp as a whole and it will not perform properly or possibly not even work. So when removing them, find what's comfortable for you before you go to remove it. So I personally grab a hold of the board and I'll do like, you know, like put a little pressure down to make sure that it stays flat and you wanna grab it and you just wanna lift like up. You wanna make sure you're not gonna damage these pins, okay? And then same thing with this one, kinda just pull directly up. The OPAs can be a little tricky, so I'm actually gonna go on this side of the board and pull directly up. And you do not wanna damage these pins. And that's how you take them out of the board if you're swapping them. All right, so we're back to the 93 socketed version. So removing them, I'm just gonna put pressure down on the board a little bit and get my finger in there and pull directly up, not damaging the pins. And this one, I'm gonna go on this and this side. I seem to have more room there, pull right up, they come right out. And the Burson V5, same thing, come right out. All right, so now that you guys know how to swap out your op amps, we're gonna put the boards back in the cases and I'll show you how to do that as well. So we'll start with wood and then move to aluminum. So take your case and you're gonna take your board and I just grabbed the back of the glass and you're just gonna slide it in. And so for wood, you're going to pay attention to up here. So I use these two right here as kind of like an assistance, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go in like that and kind of see, okay, so it needs to go up a little bit and you wanna make sure that you don't damage these buttons either. Um, so if it's not going in, so it's probably not lined up. So just use these, these are, these are good little assistance. And you're just gonna put the board right in there and then See that it's all lined up, everything looks fine, looks perfect. And you're just gonna take your four screws, put them right into the back of the case again, and then screw them in with your Allen wrench. And again, wood is two and a half millimeters. All right, so if you have a wood case and you're using a drill, make sure you do it lightly. The reason being is because it can strip out the holes of the wood and then it'll just cause the screws to just fall out. So you wanna be gentle because wood is delicate. And also, when you're using either a drill or an Allen wrench, don't tighten it too tight because it can cause the plexi to crack and no one wants that. All right, so now to put the aluminum back together, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the case and you see where these notches are. So they're gonna be these two top ones. That is where the board is gonna slide into is these two right here. So not the bottom, but the top notch. And you're just gonna take the board you're gonna line it up and it should slide in pretty smoothly and just give it a little, little tap, that's all it needs. And then you're just gonna replace the four screws into the holes in the back and use the two millimeter Allen wrench and drill it back in and that's it. All right, so same thing for the aluminum. Don't tighten the screws too tight because it can cause the plexi to crack. And of course, no one wants that. 
right, guys, that's how you swap out your off amps on your J2 DAC. I hope this helped, but if you have any further questions, you can always email in at info at .com or call us here at 321-312-0155. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great weekend, great night, wherever and whatever time you're watching this. Um, just remember to be kind and like and subscribe. Please, that's the only way that my mom is going to continue to allow me to do these videos. Oops. Words. Words are hard. Goodness. <laughs> Why can't I get this right? Email in. You can always email in. Always email in. That's not the email address. Work your home. I hope you guys have a great day now. Oh. No, I do hope they have a great day. See ya.